the machine uses only two sounds produced electrically. One of these represents the breath. The other, the vibration of the vocal cords. There are no phonograph records or anything of that sort. Only electrical circuits, such as are used in telephone practice. Let's see how you put expression into a sentence. Say, she saw me with no expression. She saw me. Now say it in answer to these questions. Who saw you? She saw me. Whom did she see? She saw me. Did she see you or hear you? She saw me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. He saw the cat. He saw the cat. He saw the cat. Mr. Watson, come here. I want you. To be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them to die to sleep. Singing, in purely physical terms, is essentially a matter of pitch and timing. In the next selection, the computer sings a familiar ditty. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to... I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage. But you look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. The computer now sings the same tune, but to a musical accompaniment, played by another computer. Piano students will notice that the music-producing computer has a rather stylized left hand. Incidentally, synthesizing music on a computer is almost as formidable as making a computer talk. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to Thanks for listening. He saw the cat.